Here's a drill that will dramatically improve your dinking. Mike is going to hit a top spin dink. I'm going to just return with either a bump or maybe a little bit of a slice. When he makes a mistake, we'll then switch roles. That way I get to work on hitting some top spin on my dinks and Mike will bump the ball back or hit a little bit of slice in return. Watch and see how this goes. So you start top spin. I'm going to give it a little slice of bump. Good. Because Mike didn't make a mistake, he gets to keep going. You notice the pace of the top spin shots he's hitting though? That ball is coming in faster than if you were to slice or to hit just a bump or a dead dink. This is causing me to play defense and have to control the ball back even though he's hitting heavy, heavy top spin. If Mike were to make a mistake, I would then hit top spin and Mike would play the defensive role where he's hitting a slice or just a bump dink. But because Mike won the rally, he gets to continue working on that top spin. Mike made a mistake because if we don't, he might go all day. It's my turn now to hit the top spin dink. I made a mistake. Now it's Mike's turn to hit the top spin again. Notice we're both hitting two hand dinks. We're hitting two hand back hands to hit with top spin. You can do this with one hand, it's just a little bit different style. But we are working on two handers because we feel like it gets an extra top spin and extra speed. Do whatever works for you. But try out this drill, this exercise. You can also do it the other direction with four hands. It will definitely improve your dinks very quickly.